Hi guys, this is Shukesh Banik and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today I gonna make the full in-depth review on this new Samsung Galaxy Grand Quattro which is also known as Galaxy Win or Galaxy Windows in some other countries and I'm going to cover every aspects of the phone step by step so be with me throughout the review. Now the most attractive feature or specification on this device is obviously its quad core processor and also 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal space which makes this device a very good mid-range device but there are a few other things you should know I'll cover all of these things step by step Another very good thing about this device is its build quality in fact, the design and the material used on this device is nothing less than the material used on premium Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, etc. And this device feels very solid in hand as well. Now here is the lock screen of the intuitive TouchWiz user interface with this new sticker and these quick launch apps so that you can launch these applications right from your lock screen. This phone also features smart alert system that means whenever this phone is at rest if you pick it up it will vibrate that means you have a notification so you can get an idea about your notifications without even unlocking the device and this is a feature of the touch with nature ux you get on premium devices here is the home screen which is also just the same you get on all the samsung devices nowadays the display is a 4.7 inches TFT display with 199 ppi which is obviously not great but the good news is the images and also everything look very smooth and also very good. The viewing angles are also not bad for a TFT display and even from a shorter distance the images look very smooth and also soothing to the eyes and considering the price of only 16,000 rupees. I think this is not bad at all. Now you can also shake the phone to update which is a very cool feature of this TouchWiz user interface. It's very simple, intuitive and fast as well. Here are the running and recent applications and you can close all of them from here. And this phone also features Google now because this is running on Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Here is the Google Now option where you can do a lot of things like you can search for anything and you can apply voice commands. Uh, let me show you a demo. Set alarm at 5 pm. You can also call a person and also set schedule etc with this Google Now and on this device there is no S voice integration. But this talk Google Now is much better than S Voice. Now there are few more features borrowed from premium devices like with this front camera this phone detects your eyes and the display will not turn off as long as you are looking at it. This feature is called Smart Stay. Now in the unboxing video I have shown you the exterior design of this phone and I want to show you them again and also share my personal experience. Well, the display is 4.7 inches with 800 by 480 pixels resolution with 199 ppi and it's a TFT display with good color reproduction. There is no ambient light sensor on this device and the front camera is a VGA camera. The ear speaker is very good. Here is the hardware home and multitasking key with two capacitive keys. The home key is slightly raised which is making it very nicely accessible. Here is the power as well as the lock unlock key and here is the 3.5mm headset jack. There is no secondary microphone for noise cancellation. The camera is a 5 megapixels autofocus camera with 720 by 480 pixels video recording without any autofocusing and I'll talk about the quality later. Here is the volume rocker which is nicely placed matching the shiny bezel and here is the port for charging as well as data syncing and here is the microphone hole. The bezel running around the phone is very very shiny and giving this phone a nice look and the dimension of this phone especially the 4.7 inches display is just perfect for a medium sized hand and this large display will give you a better experience of Android. Now you can add a maximum of 7 home panels and you can also resize widgets as you wish. 
you can also download hundreds of widgets from the google play store and customize the whole user interface in a lot of ways here on the dock you can place any application and also folders and you can access that folder from any home screen which is very useful the live wallpaper i'm using is called photo wall and you can change it just by press and hold here are the live wallpapers you are getting on this device and you can obviously download more so this android is all about customization and if you have got a larger display phone with decent specifications like this galaxy grand quattro then your experience of android will be much better now unfortunately this phone doesn't support the multi-window feature you get on galaxy grand and also other devices and samsung has excluded a number of features of galaxy grand on this device i don't know exactly why samsung has named it galaxy grand quattro it is actually a larger version of the galaxy s duos i think this is because of the popularity of the galaxy grand branding here is the notification window and you are getting the sliding toggle switches and you can also press and hold on any to directly go to the specific settings and you are also getting this brightness control tool and there is no ambient light sensor so there is no auto control here on the contacts menu you will get the gestures of touches which are very handy you can just swipe to call or sms and the double tap to top feature of Galaxy Grand Duos is gone on this device. Let's check the messaging experience and the keyboard on this device is very good for one hand typing. You can easily reach every part of the keyboard and the Samsung keyboard is one of the best keyboards you can get on any smartphone. You can obviously apply this continuous or swipe input which is very useful and also very easy. The touch response of this phone is also flawless and the display glass is also very smooth. Samsung is the market leader of Android devices with the best user interface and you are getting this kinda premium tools on this UI. It has also got full fledged S planner and all share play with which you can share the media on this device with another DLNA certified device. Here is a note taking app which is just the basic one with only text option it is not the s memo you get with galaxy grand duos so a lot of premium features of galaxy grand duos are missing on this device here is the music player and fortunately it is the same music player you get on galaxy grand and also on galaxy note 2 so there are a couple of nice features here like you are getting the music square and also a couple of equalizers and when the music is playing you can also turn over the phone to pause the music and overall the music capability of this phone is very good the headset you get with this device is excellent especially the voice clarity is good here is the music square where you can select an area and this phone will automatically detect the type of the songs you have on this device and play accordingly you also have this sound alive sound enhancement with a lot of preset equalizers and also this custom option you can also set different levels of 3d effect when your headset or headphone is attached so this galaxy grand quattro is a nice device for the music lovers now i have tried some high quality videos as well and i have installed this mx player which can play almost all the video formats and this phone can easily handle HD that is 720p videos. There is no lag and the video quality looks very good as well. Now unfortunately this phone cannot handle full HD videos. This video is of very low bitrate but still this phone cannot handle this video. The video lags a lot as you can see and Galaxy Grand can easily handle full HD videos so this Galaxy Grand Quattro is not even comparable to Galaxy Grand in software and also in graphics performance though the CPU performance of this phone is better than the original Grand in benchmarks as you have seen on the hardware review here is the camera which is a 5 megapixels autofocus camera and the camera quality I will say decent 
for the category of this device I'll rate it 4 out of 5 only because of the 16,000 rupees price tag there is very little or no shutter lag which is very good let me show you the video recorder and there is no touch to focus that is there is no auto focusing during videography so you will miss the sharpness in the videos and the video recording capability of this phone is overall not up to the mark the most disappointing factor on this camera is that this phone cannot even record in HD here are the resolutions available for the video recorder let's check the browsing experience on this device and the 3G speed on this device is very slow because this phone is capable of up to 7.2 Mbps HSDPA whereas most of the operators in India provide up to 21 Mbps HSDPA. Even Galaxy Grand is capable of this 21 Mbps HSDPA. I am currently using Wi-Fi and here is the official website of Gadgets Portal that is gadgetsportal.in. Browsing on a 4.7 inches display feels good and the resolution also feels ok. Reading small text without zooming is not possible but double tap to zoom and scrolling pinching each and everything feels very smooth and also very fast. It is the full fledged browser you get on premium devices. Now friends let me show you few important settings and First of all as you know this phone is running on Android Jelly Bean version 4.1.2 and Samsung should release the 4.2 version very soon for this device. The storage is officially 8GB though you will get around 4.7 or 4.8GB free. Check the unboxing video for the real value and let me show you the RAM on this device. It has got a very good 1GB of RAM which is enough for playing high quality games and also running large applications this is the available ram at this moment and let's kill the running applications which will obviously increase the free ram now as you can see you are getting around 399 mb of free ram which is obviously good but not that much for a 1 gb ram the user interface and the preloaded applications are eating up a lot of RAM on this device. Now let me show you few important options. There is a easy mode for the home screen which will be very useful for the first time Android users and there is a nice driving mode you get on this device. Here it is and this will read out the information about the notifications you get on this device like if you get a new text message this phone will read out the sender's name so you can use this feature when you are indoor and you don't have to reach out for the phone every time you get a new text message or new email missed call etc so this galaxy grand quattro or this galaxy win has got a lot of nice features and the user interface is also very fast and very smooth though sometimes it lags but that's okay for a mid-range device in fact the original galaxy grand also lags sometimes and the processor on this device is Cortex A5 which is a mediocre processor. The GPU on this device that is Adreno 203 is also not as good as the Broadcom processor you get on Galaxy Grand so the gaming on this device will not be as good as gaming on Galaxy Grand. And the price of Galaxy Grand has fallen to 19,500 or 19,300 rupees. So just by paying 3,000 or 3,200 rupees, you can get Galaxy Grand. The price of this device should fall to 15,000 or 14,500 rupees. Otherwise, for only 3,500 rupees, you can get Galaxy Grand get this device only because of the good dimension and also slightly better display and obviously the quad core processor which is the best processor you can get at this price tag and if the price of this device fall to 15,000 rupees then this will be the best device under 15k at this moment you can try LG L9 which is a much better phone than this check the description of this video for the L9 reviews so guys thanks for watching and 
do subscribe to this channel if you have found this video very helpful and you can also check my new play channel at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play and also like my facebook page